The Bible scripture for today is Psalms 51 verses 10. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. That is Psalms 51 verse 10. Be reminded that God promises never to leave us nor forsake us. Hi, welcome or welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, hey girl, hey. If you're wondering crochet braids where? Right here on my head. I know, it's been a minute. <laughs> Um, but I'm back. So hey, I picked this hair up a little while ago at my local beauty supply store and I thought, you know, I want to try this hair. I'm seeing if I could use simply one pack and achieve a full install. And that's what I did. And so, you know, my technique, if you are not new on my channel, my technique is simply to just separate the hair as much as I can. I don't want my hair to look packed in. I just want nice, simple, simple hairstyle that mimics the natural flow and the fullness of my own hair. But yeah, this is it. I used one pack. I can do it up, as you guys have seen with this braid in pattern. And I like how I installed it because what it did is that it completely changed the pattern of the hair. It just looks completely different. As I said, that this is the new and improved braid in pattern and only one pack crochet install. The braid in pattern that I used, it's still the two portions where half the hair at the back and half at the front portion. What I did is I braid two of the cornrows going midway back just to connect with this part at the top of my head. Once those two were braided, I went and I braided about five going down toward the tip of my ears on both sides, which included the perimeter. I intertwined those together. These two portions, along with these two here, I intertwined the ends of those, formed a spiral at the back. The, I crocheted it into the spiral at the back there with the crochet latch hook. Each strand of the hair was separated about four to five times after I separated it. When I was stitching the hair, I knotted the hair about four to six times as I felt the hair was more secure this way because the hair is more of a silkier texture. And so this is the Zuri crochet braid one pack enough. This is the go go curl and it is in color number two.
For this last corn row is where I'm going to begin to install the length number eight. So at the back is the 10, at the middle to almost the front to the second to last corn row is where I ended off with the number nine. This hair just worked out perfectly to the point where there was no need for me to cut the hair. exactly the technique that I'm using at the front to give the hairline uh, an undetectable hairline like an illusion hairline is the same technique that I use for the back portion so exactly how I'm installing at the front is exactly how I installed at the back and then of course I'm going in with my razor comb and I am teasing the hair there just again to give the hairline more of a realistic look The hair looked great. I installed it and I thought it just looked great, but you know me, I'm not that extra, but just maybe a little. And I thought, hey, you know what? I wanna zhuzh this hair up and see if I could try my extreme crochet braids transformation. And of course that is what I did. So I just went in with my gel, just the regular styling gel that I've used, the olive oil gel I've used a few times now, applied a generous amount throughout the hair. And then I went in with the paddle brush and I brushed it out and I applied some mousse and to the hair. And honestly, it made it more manageable, a bit softer. And and I enjoyed it and so I figured hey you know what I'm not sure what you all think but to me I think it made a world of a difference what I'm thinking that I could do is throughout the days that I'll be <laughs> rocking this hair god willing if I find that the hair maybe be a little bit stiff or what have you or I find some prison or it's clumping and and you know looking a little bit weighed down what I could do is I could try the same technique again this is the final results. Let me know what you think, okay? Thanks so much for watching!
finish this side off camera and then I will be back to kind of give you guys my final thoughts. This hair to me is one of those hair that you just kind of put it in and forget about it, but you of course have to take care of it, maybe twist it up and such. And it's just one of those hair that doesn't really require much work in regards to like if you install the straight hair that you'd have to brush it out. If you installed something more on the beach wave, you'd have to sort of brush it and take care of it. For this hair, all I it would require would just be me mist in the hair with a bit of water going throughout it and see if I can find any frizz. If there are any frizz, then I just cut it off with a scissor. So that's what I mean in terms of low uh, maintenance so it's a very low maintenance uh, i believe if you're one of those girlies that just like the you know sort of get up and go sort of thing i believe that this hair this hair would be perfect and another thing it looks very natural very realistic because it's just past my shoulder really like this hair and the fact that i only paid 20 dollars for it and i only used two portions of the hair it was really worth it and I would definitely use this hair again. If you enjoyed today's video, also shoot me a comment. I'd appreciate that. Let me know what you thought about today's video. I know it's been a while, but I also want to apologize for that as well as just thank you guys for all your support. I really appreciate it. If you haven't watched my playlist of crochet installs, why not do that? Maybe you will learn a thing or two as to how to achieve <laughs> natural crochet installs by using less hair spending less money, right? Because that's what we want to do around here. We want to spend as less coins as we possibly can to achieve that nice, simple, flawless crochet install. Thanks again so much for your support. Thanks for watching. God willing, you will stop by for my next video. Until then, take care. Bye. Bye for now.